chapter 25 about nonlinear systems. So here we have a system of equations that has a linear function, uh, x plus 2y is equal to 2, and then a nonlinear function, x squared plus y squared equals 1. First method we're going to talk about is using the substitution method. And the substitution method for nonlinear systems is very much the same as it is for uh, linear systems that we did earlier. Uh, so we want to take uh, this system and try to solve for one of the variables. So what we could do here is we could solve this equation for the first equation. We could get x by itself. It would be easy to isolate that just by subtracting 2y. So x equals negative 2y plus 2. And then we could take that, sis, that part and substitute it into the second equation for x. So we have negative 2y plus 2 squared plus y squared is equal to 1. And solve that equation that now only has y's as variables. So if we square negative 2y plus 2, that means to multiply it times itself. So that's going to be 4y squared minus 4y minus another 4y plus 4. And then we have the y squared is equal to 1. So we're going to simplify from there. So we have like terms, 4y and y squared. So that's 5y squared minus 8y plus 4 is equal to 1. Now, that since it has a y squared in the problem and a plain y, that means I need to get it equal to 0 in order to solve it. So I'm going to subtract 1. Plus 3 is equal to 0. And then I can use quadratic formula or factoring to solve this. I'm going to use factoring. 5 times 3 is 15. It's got to add to be negative 8. So that would be negative 5 and negative 3. So 5y squared minus 5y minus 3y plus 3 is 0. I'm going to group that together. 5y y minus 1, negative 3, y minus 1. So y minus 1, 5y minus 3, y minus 1, 0, 5y minus 3 equals 0. And you would solve those, get y equals 1, y equals 3 fifths. Two solutions. And then we could, that's the solutions for y. Now we need to find the solutions uh, for x that go with those. So we're going to go back to our equation that had x equals negative 2y plus 2. And we're going to plug in each y individually. So x equals negative 2 times 1 plus 2. That'd be zero. So for when y is one, you get a zero for x. So you get an ordered pair of zero, one. Then we're going to plug in three fifths. Negative two times three fifths plus two. Negative six fifths plus two. Negative six over five plus two. Half and enter four fifths. So we get this ordered pattern four fifths, three fifths. We have two ordered pairs where these uh, two equations meet. Right? So that's using the substitution method to solve that system. Let's look at example two. We're going to use the elimination method, and this is very much like the elimination method for the. Uh, linear systems that we did earlier. So what we're going to do is try to get opposites on one of the coefficients. You look at your two equations here. We have x squared plus 3y is equal to negative 2. 3x squared plus 2y squared is equal to 20. So those are uh, the variables. And notice that the y's are not the same. This is plain y and this is y squared. But the x squareds are the same. So that's the clue that you use to say, hey, I need to eliminate x's or x squareds on this. So 
This is a one in front, so in order to eliminate, I need a negative three in front to go pair with this positive three x squared. So if I multiply that entire equation by negative three, that converts it over to negative three x squared minus nine y equals positive six. And then the second equation, I'm not changing at all, just bringing it over. And then I'm gonna add those two equations together. The x squareds cancel each other out. And then I have 2y squared minus 9y is equal to 26. And then I need to solve that. So I'm going to get uh, it equal to 0. 2y squared minus 9y minus 26 is equal to 0. And I want to try to solve that uh, using either factoring or quadratic formula. I'm going to use quadratic formula again here. 2 times negative 26 is negative 52, and it's going to add to be negative 9. So things that multiply to be uh, negative 52 and add to be negative 9. Uh, let's see. 13 and 4. So negative 13 and positive 4. 2y squared uh, minus 13y. 4y minus 26. I'm going to group that. So that's going to pull out a y. 2y minus 13. Pull out a 2. 2y minus 13 again. So our factors are y plus 2 and 2y minus 13. I'm going to take those and solve for, uh, set them equal to 0 and solve. So I get y is negative 2. Y minus 13 equals 0. Y is 13 over 2. So those are my Y values. I need to find the X values that go with those. Uh, so when I plug in to one of the equations here, I'm going to go back to the, uh, the first one that has X squared plus 3Y is equal to negative 2. Plug in there. X squared plus 3 times negative 2 equals negative 2, so that'd be x squared minus 6 equals negative 2, x squared is equal to 4, and I take the square root of both sides, so x is equal to plus or minus 2, so the square root of 4, positive 2 or negative 2, so I get two ordered pairs out of that, I get, neg I get negative 2, negative 2, and positive 2, negative 2. The y value is the negative 2. I've got two different x values that go with that. Need to do the same thing for the 13 over 2. Two and work that out. So that's going to be x squared plus 39 over 2 is equal to negative 2. Subtract 39 over 2. Squared is equal to a negative what is it, be? 43 over 2. Uh, and that, when we take the square root of the negative, we get a non real solution. So we know that that's not going to give us uh, any answers. So we know that the only ordered pairs that I have are these two that I found there because we had non real solutions. Uh, when we plugged in negative or the positive 13 over 2 for uh, Y. Okay. All right, that's math 110, lab number 25.